Today, my friends and I are playing one of the most frustrating IO games known to man, FlyerDie.io. But that doesn't stop us. It's no secret that we absolutely love this game. And apparently you guys do too. Look at all the toe names we came across. Oh, hey, toe nameth. That's how you know the real fans. So we're gonna try our best to beat the game as quickly as possible. Getting to be a Grim Reaper is not easy. With the help of our friends, we'll become this mythical creature. All right, if we're gonna pull this off, we're gonna need a name like nothing else. Toe Rogan. They'll never see it coming. All right, guys, let's do this thing. We're gonna try and beat the game as quickly as possible. Otherwise, Steve, uh, yells really loud. Tell him, Steve. No, don't do it. Don't. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he just peeked his whole mic. Oh, my God. That was immediate. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, give me that. It's my egg. Sorry, pigeon man. You have to get your own eggs out here. I already and... died twice. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. I'm huh? only a bluebird. Oh, so we're in, like, an ultra-violent lobby is what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Like, I was okay. just in the water just trying to, you know, drink and... Uh, owl landed on my head, and I was like, okay. Well, hopefully I have a little more luck than that. That's, uh, that's not good. I'm yeah. actually almost a vulture already. I wonder if they're ever gonna add stuff in for the vulture, because can't only- the only thing you can do is eat dead fish still. That's, like, number, like, one thing. Aren't what there thing? more? I don't think so, for him. No! They God, people it. are the worst in this lobby. They should make it to where the vulture can oh. pick off, <laughs> like, on. dead people's stuff, oh. like, in real life. Nope. That'd be pretty cool, Cappy. I also just completely destroyed a, uh... A parrot, so that was nice. You know, just normal things. Okay, I'm, I'm already the maroon bird now. I'm off to, like, an explosive start. But mostly because- Oh, hey, Toe Nameth! Hey, Toe Rogan! We're getting chased by wasps! Oh, it's okay, I can take them. God, I'm so sad. I mean, actually, I don't know if I can take them. We're orange, so it's kind of like... They're chasing me around, but oh, I don't know why they're Get away that. from oh, me, bro! No. Yeah, I don't know why the hornets are chasing me. We're orange, which basically means that we could kill each other. I don't really know who would win, but... It just doesn't seem worth it to risk, you know? I'm dead. No! No! Cappy, no! What happened? I got got by a swamp man after getting attacked by the hornets. Then I flew oh. into a shark. I read this book before. Wait a minute here. Uh, no, I've read this exact book before. <laughs> yeah, it's called Cappy B's Autobiography. So first there were wasps, and then there was pain. <laughs> Dude, there's so many cosmic bats flying around. What is this? Who picked this lobby? You did. Yeah. We you tried did. to go somewhere nice, and you said no. <laughs> Just thought this would be a good spot. That's all, okay? Uh... Oh, woodpeckers. Nice. I'll eat that. I'll eat a woodpecker any day of the week. Can I get? Can I get I any know. berries? Any? Do all birds taste like chicken? You think? No. Do most birds taste like chicken, you think? Probably. I, yeah, like, I bet emu I wouldn't like agree chicken. most purely because turkey and chicken taste different. <laughs> That's Turkey's fair. Turkey's more gamey. But I, I think most is probably correct. Most birds taste like... Okay, so then, what about seagulls? Yeah, probably. Whoa. Yeah, I can't see seagulls tasting different than pigeons. So they probably all taste like chicken. <laughs> And you've Simple had pigeons, so you know. Oh, no. Dude, did I tell this you I had a viewer one time actually say that their sister had pigeon one time, I'm pretty sure? Really? No. They said they were in some exotic country somewhere, and apparently they were served it. They didn't really know what it was. They were just kind of like, you know, at, at a place. And uh, yeah. they just assumed it was like chicken or something, and then it wasn't. <laughs> I'm, I'm oh. fairly certain I've heard that. It was. Oh, yeah. no. I mean, I believe now, who knows it. If who knows if they're telling the truth, right? This is all just over live yeah. chat, and anyone could lie <laughs> in live chat. But I, I believe that situation, you know, maybe it yeah. didn't happen to them, but I believe that it could have, yeah. if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, definitely. I, I had a dream the other night, and I blame you for this room. I had a dream that there was a toe in my burrito. <laughs> what? I haunt your dreams, Cappy. You do. <laughs> That's this is terrifying. the best news I've gotten all week. The, w the worst part was the dream didn't stop when I found the toe. I had oh, to go no. to court for it, and I <laughs> got... <laughs> what? <laughs> like, the dream kept going until I was suing Taco Bell for having a toe in my... Oh, I thought you were in court because, like, they were like, you put this toe there. You're like, yeah, no, it came with a burrito. <laughs> sorry, They'd be like, Gabby. look, count, count, count my toes and see that there's none missing. Got to sit through like the voir dire or whatever, and they're like, Cappy B is named Cap Blast on the internet, and he's a trustworthy individual. <laughs> <laughs> 
He would never eat toes. <laughs> or I mean that. Oh my. 50 bucks. Get away from me. Bucks. Get away from me. I hate this server. I'm doing something out of desperation. I'm I'm going underground to eat the gerbils because there's just way too many people like up top there guarding all the uh, penguins. There we go. Thank you for that. It seems like it's working. Oh, good thing I left that area just in time. That phoenix would have destroyed oh, me. Back to this. Okay, I need to find my way over to like any kind Get of water source. Get away from me! But they just want to be friends. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I did it! I'm a hawk! Alright, I may use this now to get out of the... Yeah, I might I might just go to the jungle, honestly. Because I feel like... Jungle, yeah, being here in the jungle. Arctic is just not the place you want to be. A Jerry sleeps tonight. Ba -dum, ba -dum. <laughs> There's too much happening right now. I'm getting jostled and jimmied everywhere I go. Who's Jimmy? Dude, it's bad. Yeah, yeah. wait, what? <laughs> wait, that's your question? Well, who's jostled? <laughs> that, that is fair. Yeah. <laughs> like, that, that one made I sense. Know I just wanted to is. know who Jimmy was. But how does that make sense? Who's jostled? Well, what you mean, I understood. Be, you can be jostled, but you can't be jimmied. Unless sure, we're talking can. about, like, Jerome's door with a butter knife. Because I totally <laughs> jimmied that <laughs> Totally <door>. jimmied that. <laughs> so exactly. So you can jimmy. I've never, yeah, you know, you can jimmy something. But I think jostling. I don't know. I don't know. To now, be fair, I've never about... heard of the word joss. I've heard jimmying on something like you jimmy a lock or something like that. I've never heard of jostling something without jimmying, like jostle and jimmy. Like, I've never heard it without that phrase. What See, do you jostle? I guess that's fair. See. Oh, God, I think please jostle. Please let me like out of the water. Oh, my God. I hate this game. Or like you accidentally <sighs> hit something. But if we're talking jimmies, I, I like rustle them jimmies. Please God, don't kill me. If I get the like, chance, you're oh. dying, pal. <laughs> there's like cosmic big eyes. There's thick lads everywhere. Uh, yeah, I just watched a uh, reaper land next to me in the water and eat someone else. So thankfully it wasn't me, but that was still terrifying. It's the circle of life. <laughs> the jungle's not very good for me because unfortunately there's a raven there and he gets critical strike, which means he eats everything in one hit. Uh, it has a cooldown, but it's just enough that by the time he gets to the next meat shank, he eats it immediately, so he, he just beats me every time. Yeah. To a punch. So I have to wait for him to leave, so in the meantime, I'll eat cats and snakes in the desert. I've heard of that diet before. It's really, like, revolutionary in California right now. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know them. They're just always trying some crazy new fad. Oh, never mind. I can't eat the snakes. The snake almost just killed me, actually. Huh. That's the first time I even knew that the snakes could hurt you in this game. I, I never have had that happen before. But I guess I never tried to eat one as a regular old bird. Eh. Eh. I have eaten a stork! Right, now time to eat this cat. I think it'd be hilarious if they made the stork have to deliver a baby. <laughs> in order to level up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drop this baby off at the house to evolve. Uh, bro, you have a fad here. Who is it? Um, Terome. <laughs> What? They turned yep. me into a pun? Yep. That's good. How could they do this? Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm a big How fan. How could they do this? But also, if you play any IO games, be sure you name yourself after Toes. Trust me. Yeah. I love well, when we run into you, people and with most toe likely in their name. Leave you alone. Well, I just love when we run into people with toe in their name in IO games. <laughs> it's like, if that's my legacy, then you know what? I'm okay with it. <laughs> of course. Finally made it to Turkey. Ooh, let me shank. Don't mind if I do. Man, I'm, ha it, I'm halfway to Mad Bat. <laughs> it's so crowded that sometimes people just fly right into me and die. Well, it is called fly or die. <laughs> okay. Pew. Meat shank. All right. I'm making my way through basically the rainforest and... Oh, this guy. Yeah, you get your own meat shank, pal. Someone's in here trying to steal all the meat shanks. As soon as I become a Mad Bat, I'm eating you. Okay, buddy? Oh, no. You don't want to make this enemy. You get out of here. This is not the enemy you want. But it's that you get... Jeez. <laughs> okay. I'm standing right next to him, waiting. Watching. Nope. Wait, I need to get nope. something quick and see if that's the word I'm thinking. Get away! <laughs> <laughs> this is getting hard to maintain all the- There we go. Meet Shank. And another one! That should bring me up to Mad Bat! Let's go! <laughs> so, someone's name translated from Spanish says, I don't want the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs>
<laughs> it's pretty funny, actually. I, I remember one time I was at this one, like, I, I was out skiing one time on vacation, and this mm -hmm. guy was just going around the village. This is in Vancouver. This guy's going mm -hmm. around the village with snowballs in his hands, yelling, Who wants the smoke? And then when someone <laughs> would say me, he would throw it at him and get in a snowball fight. Oh my fight. god. <laughs> just like a random guy in the middle of the streets. I mean, it sounds kind of fun, though. Yeah, it sounds oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> I need the shanks. I'm number 27 on the board there. There you go. I'm number I'm 92. <laughs> I'm 61. I just want to get past the, uh, the initial <laughs> struggles of being a non-mythical creature. Once you become the mythical creatures, things get slightly easier. Yeah. It's a little slower because you do have to compete for, like, bosses and stuff like that, and then you have to wait on respawn timers that take, like, two to three minutes, but... It, it's easier in the sense like you're very less likely to die, but for now I am but a humble mad bat. Oh, that oh, evolutionary God. bottleneck. What if that's actually how it worked in real life? <laughs> you just had to Some keep things eating things and things just didn't evolve because there was a bottleneck? No, no, you just had to keep eating things in order to evolve into your next form. I mean, that's technically true, isn't it? Yeah, man. If they didn't Wait eat, a minute. well... <laughs> Yeah, but I'm talking like you as a yeah, person. Yeah, Like you started life off as like a chicken. Please get a. I <laughs> get a way. Way up. So like, if I ate enough hippopotamuses, I would like become a hippopotamus. <laughs> no, you just become the next um, up in your thing. So if you were a chicken okay. eating hippopotamuses, you'd probably become like uh, the stork or something. Oh, what comes after human? Bigfoot? Cap, we don't. We don't know. No, we don't know just, what comes after human. I think Bigfoot is definitely higher up on the chain than human. No, I don't know about that one. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about it. How many humans you seen? That doesn't Bunches. mean he's higher up on the chain. <laughs> he, I, I mean, I, I can see what he's talking about. Maybe that's like an introvert's uh, <laughs> higher up. He's good at avoiding people. Like, <laughs> but Dang, other than man. that, I don't know if he's higher up on the list. Yeah, it's definitely higher up on the list. <laughs> oh my gosh. Meet Shank. All right, I am now a pterodactyl child. This one is always the most ridiculous because all he does is eat the cocoa beans and nothing else. And he has to eat like a few of them only. It's like very dead. easy. Are they cocoa beans? Yep. I thought they were like mangoes or something. Maybe? Are I they thought mangoes? they were fruits. Oh. I always thought they were cocoa beans, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, like ripe cocoa beans are still like, like the outer shell of it, still like a brown color. Is it? Okay. I thought they were like a yeah. yellowy orange or something, but I don't know. When, when they're still growing, yes, yeah, like, I mean, it, it could be. <laughs> I just thought it was supposed to be some kind of fruit. Man, I I guess I should go to the jungle for the meat shanks now, because the arctic area is there's, crazy. There's three pterodactyls here. Oh, God, stop it. So you're not going to have much luck. You could try, but it's, you know, it's not a pretty time to be a non-pterodactyl. I think that was one of the most mind-blowing things about science that I learned later in life. Because everyone, like, as a kid, everyone knows, like, oh, yeah, you know, meteors destroyed the, uh, the dinosaurs. And, like, in my mm -hmm. head, I thought, like, oh, okay, dino get clubbed with the meteor. But, like, it wasn't until, like, <laughs> later on in life that I understood things that it was like, oh, no, it caused, like, a bunch of, like, crazy environmental changes, and they just couldn't adapt mm -hmm. to the times because there wasn't a lot of food and stuff. I mean, that makes a lot more sense than big rock club dino. I mean, that but, was how a lot of them died. Yeah. But, yeah. Not all it was of them, just though. Big creator made things change. <laughs> Jerome knows this, but did you guys know that in 2027, um, an asteroid a kilometer wide is going to pass within the same distance as the moon to the Earth? That's did a big know? shooting star. That in 1922, Columbus sailed the ocean blue? Yeah. <laughs> I have a fun fact about ducks. You guys want to hear that? Yeah, I love ducks. Yeah. 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 So the other day, um, I learned about uh, their feathers because, like, at first, you know, it, like, helps them fly and, like, keeps mm. them dry and stuff. But I also learned that their feathers help cover their butt quacks. Butt like quacks? <laughs> oh, my, <laughs> my gosh. gosh. Thanks. That's great. I, I love that. <laughs> oh. Stealing it. I've it's been waiting now. to tell the joke for three days. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Coming in strong today, Dropsy, I see. <laughs> Top tier comedy. I don't know how we can possibly follow that up. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Russian judge has given you like a five. <laughs> I found a pack, guys. I'm with four other pterodactyls. Oh my god. That sounds god. terrifying. 
We've ruled Wait, this are you land. one of them? I'm I one think... of them, yes. Oh my gosh. That what, is what's a group worse. of pterodactyls called? It's gotta be something Terrifying. like a it's like a terror. Like a P in Carry, but terrifying. <laughs> it's just a terror. <laughs> Actually, I think it is. Isn't that a thing? Isn't there a group of animals called a terror of something? Or there is something that that's a terror, and I'm gonna Google it right now. I'm gonna sit in this cloud. And if it's like not a pterodactyl, like a pter, I think I, then it was a waste. It was all for nothing. All for nuts. I am almost a beautiful oh. swamp monster. Ah, this guy just ate that. Come on, dude. Learn to share. I say as I'm being like the most greedy pterodactyl ever. Oh, another one. Thank you. Piece of candy. There's one devilish imp who's flying around trying to cause problems for us all, but otherwise the pterodactyl squad's actually doing pretty good out here. We're living the dreams. Does anyone know if they've made it yet that the swamp monster is better off in the swamp actually, or is he still better off just riding around in the uh the rainforests. Or rather, the desert, sorry. Because in the past, whenever I play the swamp monster, I always spend it just in the desert eating dead fish. Because they're everywhere. I want you to know I've never made it to the swamp monster. I'm wow. with you on that, Dropsy. I think the farthest I've ever made it in this game is honestly pterodactyl. Because I constantly get killed. That's fair. I, I've i been pretty... I've been getting pretty good. I think the last time we played, we yeah. did it in like 45 minutes, which was crazy. It was yeah. What's the Hello fastest there. we've ever done it? I feel like we had one. I think that one okay. was. Who's Totato? Or is that another fan? No. That, that sounds me. like another fan and a delicious snack. Totatoes. You gotta stop. <laughs> no. We need more people with toe puns in their name. More. Wait, We're taking over every IO game. It's not just stopping here. We're going to Dieppe. We're going to Takesmith.io. We're going oh, to Zombs.io and Brains.io. Oh, sorry. Oh. Dot. <laughs> dot i toe no <laughs> no no we don't no, need to start making a mobile game please don't run into a shark please don't run into a shark please don't it's not a, a just a game stead it's a whole genre it's, no, a, it's no. a lifestyle oh, oh. why what I'm you gotta be this kidding poor soul you, named you gotta be kidding drum take your uh pterodactyls away from the tower oh god uh, Totato is just dominating over here in the jungle, and I need meat. <laughs> no, 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 no! I made a fatal error! Let me out of the water! Oh! Bunyan in the jungle. Did you make it? I got out of there just in time. My oxygen was super low. I was chasing this poor oh, bat, and then no. something scarier than me came and tried to eat me, and I ran away. The end. Nice. You guys ever have that friend who tells stories that you think are going to be super duper epic? Like, we had one in high school, and we used to always joke around because his stories were always just the epitome of, like, it sounded like super intentional. Like, oh my god, how's it going to end? And he goes, and then I went home. Yeah. You know, wow. I knew, actually. Oh <laughs> my god. Really no, but someone who, like, I've become friends with, yeah, they, they tell stories like that. Like, they've mastered the buildup, but they don't have an actual story to follow up. Or like, there's, like, so much sidetracking that it's like, can we please get to the end? Yeah, yeah. right? Some at Mount What's Your Point already, right? Well, that's that's an entirely different human. I'm talking about the ones that literally, like, the story isn't, like, inherently the end result of the story is not interesting. But yeah. they, like, they get you hooked. Like, they're, like, great storytellers. And they're like, oh, my God, where's this going to end? Seat. Yeah. And then I went home. And you're like, what? You That's how it ends? There's no... <laughs> what? Yeah, I mean... Jerome, I just recently blew oh, your mind with a story recently. <laughs> oh god, yeah. <laughs> By that reaction, let's move on. <laughs> Jerome would speech with, and maybe I'll tell you guys later, but... I'm almost done being a swamp monster. Ooh, cat poo. Thank you, a nutritious meal. Alright, Toe Rogan, keep it together, and we can do this thing, okay, buddy? It's just me and you, Toe. Who's you, Toe? Yugi wow. Toe. Wow, Yugi Toe, Yugi. that's my next name. Oh, for sure. Oh no. God. I play Pot of Toes. <laughs> I play Pot uh. of Greed, which lets me draw a card, which just so happens to be Pot of Greed. Oh my gosh. I never used to play really. I played Yu Gi Oh! like for a short while, but I was big on Pokemon instead. Training card game. I, like I, Pokemon, too. <laughs> I had a lot of Bakugan. <laughs> Bakugan battle those, those were still fire, yeah. right? Yeah. 
I never played, I, I but I knew I still have, about like, them. a whole case back home just with all my cards and stuff. The I, sad uh, thing is, is I never had a lot of people, like, to play with, so I tried to get my sister to learn, but she couldn't get, like, the rolling part right. And so I was like, okay. <laughs> I, uh, whenever I was a kid, uh, I played some Dungeon Dice Monsters. <laughs> What is that? It's an offshoot Yu-Gi-Oh thing based on dice and summoning. Well, interesting. Huh. And was it fun? Oh, it was crazy. What it would do would give you like a 50 yeah. by 50 grid and you would roll your dice and your dice could unfold into any way that could be made into a cube. And then you uh -huh. could move your characters along the path you make by rolling your dice and unfolding them. Oh, ah. interesting. Yeah, it was hyper nerdy. I was a dweeb. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Well, is you didn't have to explain okay. that story, okay. Krista. What? <laughs> Guys, I, I'm, wow. I'm playing as the, law, the demonic egg eater, so I'm underground uh -huh. right now where there's supposed to be demonic yep. eggs for me to eat, and yep. there's just a one singular chicken egg. Like, a chicken found his way down. <laughs> there's nothing here for him. Like, he just found his way into these caves, got lost, and laid an egg. I, I suppose yeah. is what I what must have happened. You must be like, this isn't home. So it's a fear <laughs> egg, is what you're saying. I don't know what it is, Stead, but it's scary. You know what's not scary? The new Diamond and Pearl remix to come out in November, and I'm very excited. And I just wanted to oh, share yes, that. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes, absolutely. I already got I keep word. getting asked if I'm going to play it on video. Wait, really, Stead? The answer really, is probably yes. no. <laughs> but I do want to play it, like, for fun. I feel like if there was, like, more of a, like, um, what do you call it, multiplayer? experience in it you, like you could get away with playing it online or for like live streams or something jerome well that's the thing though i don't want to <laughs> oh okay <laughs> no I, the only reason i i don't like there's sometimes when I, I like a game so much the reason i don't want to live stream this sounds crazy to some people because they're like why wouldn't you want to is literally because then it takes away from the enjoyment because instead of being able to be like uh okay like a nice day at work i'm just gonna i'm done i'm gonna plop down on my couch and you know play a game on my ds or whatever like my switch and and have fun then it becomes a Okay, well, I can't do that because I'm not at my setup and I can't play the game that I want to play right now because it's also 12 o'clock at night and no one would watch the stream anyway. You know what I mean? Like it, it, yeah, it, yeah, it yeah. changes the entire thing. I, I can't just play it for fun. Not that it isn't fun to stream, but it means I exclusively, like there's certain scenarios where like, let's say I'm sitting up in bed, can't sleep. All right, it's like 1230 at night. Well, I can't just crack on a live stream and go, all right, time to play. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, 1230 yeah. at night. Like You could. But you, you don't want to. Well, no, I don't want to. It wouldn't even get any people watching anyway. And then you just get angry viewers who are like, I missed the live stream. <laughs> and it's like, well. It's like, well, you should have been there at 1230 <laughs> night when I couldn't sleep. There's no winning. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. So yeah. <laughs> there are some games, very rarely, very rarely does it happen, but there are some games. Like, I can tell you straight up, there's no way I'm live streaming the Halo Infinite uh, campaign. That's just that's yeah. The campaign time. multi multiplayer time. though is free. Exactly. Yo, I've been playing Splitgate though. Do not be that person, Reaper. Do not. Do not. G -g get away from me. But like, I've been playing Splitgate, and it's basically Halo mm. plus Portal. I've heard about it. I just haven't played it or watched it or know anything else about it. It's He's just only heard the title. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Uh, after playing games like Valorant and stuff like that. It just, like, it's so easy to shoot. Oh, yeah. See, that's and the thing. I just, like, I don't know. Like, Valorant, for instance, I actually haven't even watched Valorant gameplay until uh, two months ago. It was the first time I watched really? it. Really? Wow. <laughs> I love Valorant. And no, I know. I've heard great things. I just never really bothered. I don't know. Also, because, like, I, I, I play Counter-Strike sometimes when I have spare time. So, like, I just hear it's like Counter-Strike, but more futuristic. It's like, wow, this just sounds like a headache. No, so, just like it's hours, know. that's all. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, the, yeah the like game type is the same and like the rounds and such. And like the only real difference is that there's uh powers or like abilities that you can use instead of just the weapons and such. I also just trapped a poor defenseless street chicken and ate him. And I just wanted you to know. Oh that. no. Um thanks for sharing, I guess. But yeah, so they have a game mode called Oddball in Splitgate where you just get the ball and keep away. That's same as uh Halo. Yeah, so it takes a lot from Halo. 
and so I managed to keep the ball away God, from people by punching them 28 <laughs> times for the entire game mode. Go uh, away! I've been dealing with an annoying swamp monster. It's annoying because I'm the demonic imp, and we are equal in terms of, like, I will light him on fire, oh he will God, poison me, die. and then we will die. die. And he keeps, die. like... I don't know if it's intentional, because that time he touched me and then he ran away, but it's still like, ah, oh, come on, bro. Like, not that we're on the same team here, but, like, we can't, like... It just seems yeah. weird to flip a coin on this one, you know? Like... Yeah. We're a little too far into the game to be flipping coins for our lives. Yep, y'all can have the penguins. I'm just gonna be in here eating gerbils. Right now I'm chasing a paragraph named Uwu. You deserve this. Oh no. Yeah. Oh my god, he can fit in here? That's dumb. I also was able to kill a boss as the demonic imp. That helped me out a ton. So if this boss respawns, oh, yeah. I can get another, like, little kill on him. That'd be huge. Haha, <laughs> I can finally leave my cloud. Oh man, I just lit two different parrots on fire. That's gonna be a double kill a Rooney for sure. I got one. Come on, lock in the other one. Yeah, double kill a Rooney. Known YouTuber oh Jerome Setti is arrested today for setting two parrots on fire. A pterodactyl, <laughs> what just happened? A pterodactyl <laughs> child flew into me, gave me a thumbs up and let me kill him. Why? He knows. Yeah, he, knows he knows what's going on, he knows. He knows you, Jerome. Yeah. He knows Toro. Oh, thank God. Get me out of this godforsaken winter abyss. Uh, oh, yeah. Is it still bad over here, Dropsy? It's always oh, bad. Yep, what do yep, you mean, I'm is leaving, it still? I'm leaving. There is never a good time. I am a dragon. A beautiful dragon. Oh, hey, Toe Rogan. Hello. You yeeted me into the sky. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, the I dragon's think's... got a lot of, like, lift. Well, it's got wings, bro. All of this has wings. <laughs> Just when you hit the dragon, it feels like you're flying forever. Ooh, another parrot. This is the most parrots I've eaten in one day. Feels good. Oh. Or rainbow chicken, depending on how you call it. I guess it's more like dialect, you know, parrots, rainbow chicken. Right, 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 right. Ha ha! Turkey? Yes. I am oh, sorry, God. Mr. Oh, turkey. Oh god, get away. Get away. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Ah, the turkey got away. Oh well, let that be a warning, sir. Batmobile, lost a wheel, and turkey got away. Okay, but how many Bigfoots would it take to take down a dragon? Two. I was gonna say Two? three. No. Yeah, I was gonna say three as well. Did you, really? Only three yeah. Bigfoots? Purely because of the size of a dragon normally. But like, you know? Bigfoots are big to humans, but are they actually that big? Like, what are they, ten foot? Ten foot is humongous. <laughs> Not compared to yeah. a dragon. First name Hugh, last name Monk. Yeah, that's why I'm saying like three. You know, uh, I, think I think they have no. a lot of brute strength. <laughs> okay, I think it'd have so... to be a flock of Bigfoot. Oh, okay. So are we <laughs> talking like in a flock? <laughs> at least, at least five to ten. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, like, are we talking barehanded or th they're Bigfoot? They know how to use tools. Right? What? That's it. What? No. No, you they can't. Have hands. I mean, a wooden club. Just because they have they, hands doesn't mean they know how to use tools. If monkey monkeys are entering the Stone Age right now, Jerome, if monkeys figured yes. it out, Bigfoot definitely has. And so it took collective intelligences tens of millions of years to discover how to use stone tools. A Bigfoot, which lives on its own theoretically, does not know okay. how to use stone tools. It hasn't but learned you, it yet. Okay, but by your definition of saying there's a flock, they don't live alone. In this case, no, they that just was, happen that to, was, that was happen just to verge. For, there's so many pigeons! They happen to verge uh, on this exact scenario. Okay, on this exact scenario. For the greater scenario. good of the Bigfoot. <laughs> so yes. we're talking like, okay, so we're talking three to five big feet. Which is a total of <laughs> the total of Bigfoot, big feet. <laughs> but which is a total of six to ten large feet in total. Uh, <laughs> and a total of 12 to 20 large toes. Or, no, I'm just thinking of maybe flock 20 of Bigfoot. I don't know. I just don't know but, if a flock of Bigfoot so got bare, it in. They're going fisticuffs with a dragon, though, is what you're saying. They don't get any tools. Yeah. Okay, 20 big feet would do it. 20, okay. Depends on now, the dragon, if, too. Okay, now, through a leap of technological advances, they have discovered Big Stick. 
How many Bigfoot wow. would it take? Okay. Half. You only need half now. <laughs> yeah, you like 10 big feet, like they poke that dragon in the eyes and then they just like swarm it. Like, the oh largest my. technological advance in Bigfoot history. <laughs> big stick. But wait for stick with rock. Big stick go bonk. That's been a huge discovery. Okay, oh my god, them. there's so many eggs over here. So we're talking like a 10 foot tall ape, pretty much. But apes are ridiculously strong. So Yeah, that's we, what yeah. I was saying. I think they have a lot of brute strength. Yeah. Concussive force roll for a, like a D4. But what, and is, what is the, Christ. But what does this the, the wiki stat page say about their fire resistance? Because that's a huge Well, if you they're know, hairy, then it's not that flat. good, right? Yeah, they're highly flammable. That's that was gonna be my question is what kind of dragon are we talking about here? Okay, now let's say through some weird event they found out how to shave, so they were bald, so they wouldn't be highly flammable anymore. Wait, so they but how skin, many bald but big the skin. Foots? Yeah. That would still hurt a lot. If they shaved, they'd be too busy trying out for the Olympic swim team. <laughs> Can you imagine you roll up to the Olympics and a bald Bigfoot's just standing there next to me? It's like, what are you here for? Like, powerlifting? Nah, I'm on the swim team, bro. <laughs> what are you here for? Every event. <laughs> what do you plan on winning? All of them. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of Michael Phelps in swimming. <laughs> Why does a demonic imp and gymnastics? <laughs> a demonic imp just flew next to me and said, I'm sorry, do you want to be friends? Is that for just me? Yes. Um, Did he just eat you? I'm just going to give him a thumbs up. <laughs> like, oh my god, I can't fly. Oh my god, did he paralyze me? What was that? I'm happy. <laughs> I love how there's like a set number of things they can say with the chat. <laughs> like, Yeah, and this guy's still after me? Cool. Awesome. Cool. Can't even get a break as the raven. I'm waiting for, uh, for the big mummy boss to spawn again, and then I'll be all done. Weirdly enough, they, um, I don't know what's been going on, but no one's been killing the bosses. I, be, I think this is my third kill already. I'm work, working on four. Never had any mm -hmm. competition. Just let me do it. They're too busy hunting the most dangerous game. Jerome. Where are, where are the white rats? I haven't seen those anywhere. Uh, I think they're in the city. Know. They are. They're underneath the city in that like toxic waste place, I think. Uh, oh, no. oh, New Jersey. Yeah. yeah. Can't have anything in Jersey. You got me. There we go. We'll set that snake on fire. And oh, the boss is back. And lo, I will destroy said boss. All right, he's almost dead, and I'm almost a cosmic insect. That means. Why is this person following around as a pigeon? Get out of there. Scram, buddy. Oh my god. All right, guys, I'm finally a cosmic insect. Sect. I'm going to space, and then I'm gonna be the Grim Reapers. I uh made it to Mad Bat. <laughs> that that's fun. Good job. What are you mad at? Everything. Loaded okay. question, bro. The world? Yes. <laughs> the fair. server? Myself? Mmm, alien eggs. No! Okay, fine. <laughs> are, they, are they ears dead? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just died again. <laughs> oh, I eat this. Guys, I think oh, Stead's an alien. Oh, hello, insects. Do you, you guys eat your eggs with the shell on or off? Uh, I prefer off. Yeah, yeah. I prefer off. <laughs> Can you eat eggshells? Probably. Yeah. But probably just doesn't taste good. Yeah. Yeah. There's it's no, just... like, real harm unless you, like, eat big pieces, maybe, but... Yeah. It'll hurt your teethies. Okay, where's, like, the oxygen egg? So I don't Nugget to, like, the duck. Going. There we go. It's such a good name for a duck. Nugget? Nugget. Yeah, Nugget. That is a cute name for a duck. I want a baby duck so bad. I saw a baby duck the other day. Uh, they had him, like, this is actually like a month ago. They had him over, like, on a table outside of, like, a restaurant down in St. Pete. And this person was just, like, it was their pet duck, right? And they were just, like, having it waddle around. I was like, oh, my God! And then they let me pet it. And it was really nice. So I got to pet a baby duck, and I was very happy. Ducks are very cute, but they're also very gross. They're very smelly. He was oh, the yeah. most handsome boy. <laughs> Please get away from me. A Grim Reaper just flew by me and did a crying face. What's that mean? <laughs> what? Who knows? It's not your time yet. No, he's chasing oh, me around. It might be my time yet. What happens if you die as a Grim Reaper? Die in real oh. life. Oh. That's it. You're done. Yeah, you're just done. Wow. Grim Reapers can kill Grim Reapers. And also, uh, same thing like oxygen, water. Like, if you just go AFK, you'll lose. Yeah. 
there's only one thing you can't die as. It's a brief period called the ghost, and it literally says, take a break if you want. It's like right before the Grim Reapers. Uh. And that's the only one that you can just not do anything with, and you, you'll and never just like... Yeah, you'll oftentimes even find people that are just AFK like going to the bathroom or whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay, time to eat these disgusting space fruits. Okay, but do you think the Loch Ness Monster is real? Yeah. Easily. Nestle? Absolutely. Yeah. I still don't know, like... It has to be. I just want to know, like, one of these days, whenever, like, technology advances, oh we can actually, like, get down to properly explore, like, the bottoms of the ocean, like the Mariana Trench and all that, like, you know, like, mm -hmm. properly, oh, yeah. properly explore it. I can't, can't wait to see, like, what kind of, like, dinosaur-like creatures live down there. We've seen some of them. Like, there's a jellyfish down there that, like, the tendrils, like, at the end of it, they're, like, 20 feet long. Oh, my god. And it, gosh. like, well, it's so long because, like, there isn't light down there, so it can't hunt itself. So that's how it gets a lot of its food. It basically is just literally like a, a large-scale fishing vessel that's just like trawling the bottom. That's all it does, yep. huh? Interesting. Yeah. There's also one that looks like a rainbow that's really pretty. I'd have to Google it, though, because I don't remember the exact name. But like There's the tail end of it, it's like very pretty. But then you remember, oh, this thing's like 50 feet and very dangerous. There's definitely like a hundred more crabs to be discovered down there. Uh, the problem oh, more than that. There are so no. many species of crab. It's crazy. And they're probably all delicious. <laughs> <laughs> what what was that crab Jerome that we used their blood for and then just send them away? Horseshoe crabs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Maryland sorry, did vampires. someone say crabs? I oh, yeah, Steve. horseshoe Maryland crabs. Guys here. <laughs> we summoned crab. Them. The crab people <laughs> know when crabs are being talked about. <laughs> uh. I am Steven of the crab. Is this people. guy's name just Toe? It is! It's just Toe! Yeah, let's go! Well, I saw him because I was like, oh, it's the ghost, like we were talking about earlier, and his name is just Toe, and a piece oh, of bread right. just grew under him. Number 10 Whoa, on the leaderboard that, it, that yeah. does read Toe. That's awesome, dude. I love the Toe gang. Guys, that's so awesome. Like, I, we've run across so many people with the name Toe. Remember, it's any IO game, Toes, or a Toe pun. Just something with Toes in it. Just so we all know <laughs> you're out there. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I toe. Most people's fans <laughs> in video games. Oh, Jerome ASF fan. Blah, blah. My fans toes. We know. <laughs> we know. Don't worry. We do be knowing though. Uh, Drum, I would like to say you will not be able. To... I'll not be able to what? <laughs> I'm so scared. You, you just cut out. You, you won't be able to eat me. Oh. Why? Yeah, I'm kind of stuck behind the Yeti. What? You're trapped behind a Yeti? Yeah, um, that's where I spawn. That's a rough That's where spawn. you spawn? Yep. I just, oh for God. some reason, was back behind the Yeti. Uh, that's rough, bud. Yeah, well, I don't know what to say. That's a, that's a terrible spawn. Stead's yeah. dead. Moving on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they should probably rewrite the code for that to be a non-spawn point, but <laughs> that's rough. Oh, I'm stuck back here. Aww. All right, I'm making my way, guys. Right now, I am a spooky ghost. I need to infect a zombie. That way, I can come back to life. Here we go. Down into the dungeon we go. Why is there a street chicken in here? Go away. You can't eat zombies. <laughs> I don't know why you're underground, buddy. All right, oh. Toe Rogan. On the topic of zombies, like, isn't the truth that one good winter chill, they're done, though? Right? In typical ones, yeah, because... The way zombies are, they're already naturally decomposing, so if you can survive through one winter, they'd, they'd all be gone. Any chance you guys can meet me by the cemetery? I am ready to eat people. Ah. We moved really quick today. Like, this was a really good lobby for me. I got I got very lucky. The first Glad time I get the you. swamp monster and I already have to sacrifice me. Wow. <laughs> mm, hey, Dropsy, this... good on you. I still haven't made, made it past Snowy Owl yet. That's okay. still really, really good. Very nutritious snack, yeah. owls. Yeah. Let's come on down. I think that's where I was Reaper also Emporium. stuck for a while, Stead. It, it just takes a while. <laughs> <laughs> it, it seems like. You learn the spot you're good at, and then everything else is just kind of, eh. Yeah, Stead, just come on down to the Grim Reaper Emporium. All right, I got you. I'm in the swamp. Oh, it, okay. And hello there. 
What is that? There's so Ty's left foot? Is that one of you guys? <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. That's an old... Oh. Wow, that's a, that's an OG <laughs> reference. That's like a 2013 reference. My god. That is such an old reference, Ned. <laughs> yeah, come, I know. Where did that come from? <laughs> I was just like, I don't know. I'm just going to hit hashtag and see if this will... <laughs> Hello. Oh. Hello, Toe Nameth. I will eat you, and then I'm going to go ahead and... I am a pumpkin! Yes! A beautiful pumpkin! Oh no! Oh. oh no! There's a pumpkin reaper here and he looks angry! Oh, oh he's going for oh, it! Oh no! I don't know if he's uh. gonna kill me or not. I don't know what's going on. He Bunch said hard. Of heart and then, but then he gets close! Yeah, but Stop now he's that. camping on the pumpkin! Stop that! Go away! Wait. Ha ha! Okay, now I need to go get water. I need to go get some water and then I need to eat some more people and then I'll be done. <gasps> Person! Hello. Oh, Dropsy, a person of the swamp, I see. Oh, God. Yeah. That was a really good one. I barely need anything left. If anyone's still, like, respawned or whatever and has any life in them, let me know. Here, let's uh, see. I did respawn. I'm a falcon, though. I'm a pterodactyl. I am a pterodactyl child again, so I'll make my way over. Make okay. my way downtown. Be careful. Fast. There's a lot of pumpkin reapers oh, out I'm there. On fire. And God, there people are pushing me into demonic imps. What is happening? No, I'm gonna die. Oh, also, what animal does infection? I drum. Stead! My hero, Stead! We did it! Uh, Wait. Yes! We did it! We did it! Yay! Wait. And then I got eaten. Oh, but we did it! We did it! <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. We played Fly or Die and we hated it. Yeah, we did it. 